The depths of Lake Cumberland have contained a mystery. 20 years ago this past Wednesday was the, uh, was the crash. A helicopter going down. Landon Helms was watching. It was just a gradual crash. Everyone escaped, but the wreckage found its way 100 feet underwater. Alex Ashley was just 10. And you were like, I got to figure out where this thing is. <laughs> yep, pretty much. <laughs> he wasn't alone. Others have looked over the years, but Alex says none were successful. It was a wild idea as a child. <laughs> it became a feasible idea maybe five years, five years ago. He turned to his friend Landon. And I said, well, you're all looking in the wrong spot. You know, this is where I saw it go down. Alex bought a specialized boat and spent 18 hours scanning the lake bed, eventually bringing in a team of Nicholasville firefighters to scuba dive at a spot where his sonar picked something up. It was surreal, definitely. So I had to actually touch it a couple of times just to make sure that it was, I was like, that's a helicopter blade. So <laughs> they brought a, the pilot's headset up and that was just amazing. It was cool. In order to bring this helicopter up, scuba divers have gone down. You can see the bubbles coming from the scuba divers. They've gone about 40 feet below the water to reattach lines to the helicopter so they can get it to the surface. Blue barrels filled with air providing the lift. Now the mystery's over. Bent rotor blades emerging first. Evening light hitting the cockpit for the first time in decades. He's got the pilot's license and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, you know, I was one of the last people to see it go down and then one of the first people to see it come back up. A childhood dream of solving a mystery, all becoming reality. In Russell County, Ricky Sayer, LEX 18 News.